which animal it was the first one to be domesticated over 11,000 years ago and has milk that is the most popularly consumed in the entire world? Well, grab your overalls and your straw hat because we're going down on the farm to find out on this week's episode of Kiki's Fun Animal Facts. Today we're going to talk about Nigerian dwarf goats. Nigerian dwarf goats were actually used in Eastern Africa as meat and dairy animals. Their meat is known as Siobhan and their milk is the most commonly consumed milk in the world. Now their Latin name is Capra agagus percus. Now they come from the family Bovidae and the name Capra is a Latin word, or a, the root of a Latin word, which means capricious, which is bizarre, quirky, mischievous. Now, when they're in a group like this, they're known as a herd. Now, uh, they will eat anything from a plant-based diet. They will eat alfalfa, grasses, and any sort of high foliage as well. These guys really love to chew on plastics, paper, a script, pacifiers, glue, anything they can really get their little teeth into. And these silly little billies really love to chew. Now, these goats can have a variety of colors, such as black, white, red, brown, cream, and can have certain patterns like buckskin and camoisi. Now, uh, these goats are very diverse when it comes to colors and patterns. Uh, males and female goats can even have horns on their heads. And th those horns are made out of a bone-like material with a blood vessel running in the middle of them to regulate body temperature. Now, uh, <laughs> now uh, these horns also help these goats uh, maintain social statuses as well and climb the social ladders. They will actually buck each other by rearing up on their hind legs and, hello. And they will rear up on their hind legs and they will smash their heads together just so that way they can determine who is higher on the social ladder. <laughs> now goats can even be born without horns and those goats are called, are called poles. Now, uh, pulled goats in lieu of horns actually have little nubs on their heads that you can see and feel. Now, goats were the very first animals to be domesticated over 11,000 years ago. They were used as agricultural, dairy, and meat animals. Now, Nigerian pygmy goats were actually brought to the United States in the early 1930s. Now, before that, uh, they were actually very valuable to humans and were used as currency. Matter of fact, they were so valued that even before the existence of coins, goats were used to trade for, for goods and services. Matter of fact, they were traded for silver and other modern riches as well. Now, goats actually have a rectangular pupil, unlike you and I, which have round pupils. Now, this pupil is known as a bar pupil, and despite being a diurnal species, goats are actually very, very good at night vision. They can actually see just as well during the night as they can during the day. Now, goats have a four-chambered stomach, what's known as a rumnit. Now, rumnits are most hoofed even-toed mammals and they chew their raw materials and they'll swallow it, they'll half digest it and then they'll regurgitate it 
in a solid form known as a cud. Do you like coffee? I know I do. According to ancient Ethiopian legend, there was a goat herder who noticed that his goats were actually more energetic than usual. So he went to go investigate and found that those goats were eating a berry from a certain type of plant. He ate that berry himself and found that he had the same energetic reaction as his goats. And thus the coffee bean was born. So the next time you drink coffee, be sure to remember to thank a goat. Now goats are very gentle and very sweet natured. Petting zoos have been using these guys for years because of how good they are with children, the disabled, and the elderly. Even breeding bucks are very gentle and can be easily handled. Now, here's the question of the day. When a nanny goat is giving birth, what is that process called? Is it called A, birthing, B, kidding, C, laying, or D, mudding? The answer is B, kidding. Now, nanny goats and kids actually have a distinct call that only they recognize as soon as the kid is born. Now, kids will stay with their mothers up to about six months, and nanny goats can have from three to six kids in one litter. Now, goats actually have many predators, from eagles, bobcats, foxes, wolves, eagles, and many more. Now, goats actually live in a herd between Now goats will actually spend their entire days just grazing on grass and their herds can be anywhere between 6 to 30 uh, members. But some wild goats have been known to have over 100 members in their herd. Now some goats are actually very useful to farmers other than dairy and meat goats. These practical animals have helped farmers for millennia to help get rid of blackberry, weedy undergrowth, and poison ivy, many of which other graze animals do not want to touch. Speaking of eating, goats only have side and bottom teeth. Now they have a large molar on their upper jaw that is used for crushing. Now these guys actually use their lips to bring food into their mouths. Now goat's milk is actually healthier than cow's milk. It's naturally pasteurized, which means that it does not separate into layers in the original state. Now goat's milk is actually easy to digest and it's easier for people's tummies, especially those who are lactose intolerant. Four score and seven years ago, wait, that's not right. Seven score and seven years ago, Abraham Lincoln actually had pet goats as well. Their names were Nanny and Nanko. Now he loved them very much. Matter of fact, his son Tad actually used the goats to pull around his chariot throughout the White House garden. Well, I'm glad that we got to discover more about Nigerian dwarf goats. Now, if you learned something today, or if you want to learn more about your favorite animal, make sure that you give us a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Make sure that you share this video to all your friends, so that way they can learn about their favorite animal as well. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Now, we have a Patreon exclusive where the first 10 patrons will get a shout out on our video for the next month, 
and we'll get updates on each episode and a behind the scenes look on how we do each episode as well. So thank you very much for joining us and for the animal for next week. Well, the joke is listed on the, in the description and that joke is, which song did Johnny Cash play to the pinnipeds? And the answer is, I Walk Sea Lion. So we'll be talking more about California sea lions next week on Tiki's Fun Animal Facts. Have a good week. Thank you for sticking around for the conservation shout out. Now the conservation this week is the Livestock Conservancy. Now their mission is to help save endangered livestock and poultry breeds from extinction. Now they work with over 150 breeds from with 11 different species. Their headquarters are in Pittsburgh, North Carolina, but they have members in all 50 states and in 11 countries. Now they have helped save animals from chickens, goats, horses, sheep, all from falling into the critically endangered list. Now, you can donate at the bottom of the description and you can help save the planet, the animals, and the environment. By helping, or you can help out a, cons a conservation fund or by doing simple things like turning off the water while you brush your teeth or turning off lights that you aren't using. Now, thank you everyone uh, for helping us save the planet and remember it only takes one person to help change the world for the better. So see you next week! Hey Kiki, what? tell the camera what happened. Goat came and uh, ate my paper. <laughs> he ate my entire script. Hey, now you can use that as an excuse. <laughs> I didn't do the episode because a goat ate my script. A goat ate my script. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Mr. Goat? Yeah. All right. Mm.